wow, thank you so much. Um, <coughs> and so on. All right, so let's move forward. Okay, so the churro cheesecake. If you have any questions, just go ahead and type them in. Um, I will do my best. There, there she is. So if you guys want to follow her, because I know she's selling more, or I think she's selling more. I'm not sure if she is or not. But, you know, she's right there. Arena's Dream Cakes, okay? Um, so, we're going to do the Chudo Cheesecake. I've done this demo before. And since this needs to bake yeah, for 30 minutes, while this is in the oven, we're, I'm going to do the beignets, all right? Since the beignets... Um, are not that long at all but first I wanted to go over the recipe just in case you guys are interested in writing it down or what have you okay so it's let me get it I have all my stuff okay so here we have okay so let me wash my hands before I touch start touching stuff we have half a cup of regular sugar. Good morning. Um, half a cup of regular sugar, granulated sugar. Two tablespoons of cinnamon. Okay. 16 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. So what I did is I took it out last night and I left it out overnight so that we could um, go ahead and start, you know, or else it wouldn't come out right. And it has to be room temperature, all right? Or else cream cheese is chunky, all right? Along an additional half a cup of regular sugar, one large egg, which I have cracked and put in here, a teaspoon of the vanilla extract, and let me get them out of the fridge because they have to be cold, um, two rolls of the Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, okay? When it's time, I'll bring them up, okay? Let me wash my hands real quick, put some gloves on, and we'll start. Is that, is that good? Good for you? Okay. Say louder, louder. More. I have my daughter putting music on in the background. <laughs> Break your mama's back. <laughs> okay. So first things first, we're gonna get the sugar and the cinnamon ready. Okay, sugar and cinnamon. Half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. I already have everything weighed out, um, but I am gonna show you what items I have because I am gonna do a couple giveaways today. Um, again, it's I I have this this measuring set I love it they clip all together and it's spoons to cups so I have one for a giveaway which is in a different color which is like um, blues turquoise and so on and that is gonna go with the pizza cutter that we're gonna use for the beignets and then you know I'll like hey why not just this for um, Ice. And then another one of the things to hold. Okay, here we go. So here we have half a cup. Oh my gosh, I still have one of the giveaways from last time that I made them out. Okay, half a cup of sugar with two tablespoons of cinnamon. Okay. And then we're just gonna mix this. Okay, now this is done. This is our um, cinnamon mixture. You can buy it already made like this. Um, it's already ready for you if you have, if you want to, but I like to show you, I honestly, I will use this, but I like to show you how to do it just in case you don't have it, which, you know, a lot of us don't, just carry that in our pantry. Okay, so this is done. Ready? All done. Um, this is the spray I used to spray the pan. I'm just gonna put it aside over there. Okay, so now we're going to 
It's 16 ounces, so each one of these is eight ounces. Each little box is eight ounces, so it's two boxes. And dump into the mixture. And then the other one. Oh. Okay, any questions so far? Got some music in the background. It's like it's so quiet here that I just like lose my mind. Okay. And if everything doesn't come up, just grab a spatula. This is a spatula that Ronnie's Creations carries. So if you follow Ronnie's Creations, you can go on her um on her store. I like it because it's a hard one. Um, I use it for my cookies, so if you guys took in my cookie class, or will take my cookie class that I'm going to post, um, you, I'm going to mail you guys one of these, the set actually. Alright, so now I'm gonna get, it's going to get a little loud, because now we're going to cream this. Somebody's texting me. Can't see. together. Right now, today, demo, I'm going to do two um, recipes. Right now, I'm doing a churro cheesecake, okay? While this is in the oven, I'm going to make beignets, okay? So we're creaming this guy together until it's just smooth, all right? We want it nice and pretty, and then we're going to start drizzling in the sugar, which is, again, a half a cup of regular sugar. Drizzle. Okay. And with the rubber spatula, you want to make sure you scrape the sides. Okay. It looks really, really nice. Um, I'll stop it and I'll show you guys before I add the egg so you guys can see what we're looking for. Okay. Drop it. <laughs> so, you see, it's nice and creamy. It looks like actual um, buttercream, but it's not. It's just plain cream cheese. This is just cream cheese and the sugar. <laughs> then we're going to add the egg and then also the vanilla. Okay. So I'm just scraping the bowl, making sure that everything is um, incorporated because cream cheese will tend to get stuck along the sides of the bowl. Okay. And I have the mixer sideways so you guys can kind of sort of see or else you guys would just get the back of the mixer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg right now. So hard to do it like this. All right. And it's one teaspoon. So here's my teaspoon from the set with van a vanilla, all right? Looks a little yellowy. I'm going to go ahead, and I do measure my vanilla, um, I know a lot of people just use the cap, but then it's like, I'm not sure how much that is, I honestly should, I should weigh it and see what it turns out to be, okay, one teaspoon of vanilla, that's done, okay, we don't need this, This can go all in the sink, except for this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to put this in the sink. My vanilla. Sugar. Okay. Just as long as everything's nicely incorporated. And 
looks like this. You see how? You see it? Okay. So this is ready. This is my filling. Okay. This is one batch. All right. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this bowl. Leave it there. Get rid of this mixer so I can use my area. rolls um, another way I will do them also because um, is I'll use puff pastry okay if I use puff pastry it's flaky it's a little different but it's it's really good all right so now we're gonna spray our pan I'm gonna use this pan today I, I normally use um, one of these the, the baking sheets but today I'm gonna do this because um, I just want to <laughs> Okay. And I sprayed it with this non-stick spray, which is from Target. Okay. I already sprayed it. So now we want to open this guy. Now we're going to open it straight. Oh my gosh, my dog. <laughs> Tobias. Okay. Straight into the pan. Okay. See how perfect it is? It's a quarter sheet. All right. Now, I want to make sure it goes. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot to sprinkle some sugar on here. Sorry. It. You want to sprinkle some sugar on the bottom. Not all of it, a nice amount. Okay, now I can put it down. Crap. I can't believe I forgot that. All right. And I did upside down, but it's all right. Um, so now I want to make sure it's all the way. For one, it's unfolded completely, unrolled, and stretched out all the way. And then if you see any holes, because you know how the crescents come in the triangles, if you see any like holes within the um, from the triangles, just pinch them together, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna pinch them together. And I've seen on Instagram, people are making a killing on these. Um, and they're selling them by the squares and what have you. Shoot. I'm happy that they can do that. All right. Okay, pinching, pinching, pinch, pinch, pinch. Okay, now this is done. I'm gonna take my glove off. We unrolled it, we made it nice and pretty, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all seems together. Now we're gonna spread the cream cheese uh, mixture that we made straight into here. I heard a flip up. <laughs> I don't know why my, my watch is not connected. Okay, and I, I like to make sure that the stuff on the, on the width, on the paddle, is also incorporated because a lot of stuff gets stuck on here. If not, this is what we lick. Any questions? Okay. Now let's go ahead and pour 
everything, the entire bowl. Okay, you want a nice, thick filling, okay? I'm gonna show you my bowl, it's empty. It's all right here. And just make sure you spread it out nice and evenly. You cover the entire sheet. This is so good, I'm telling you. Okay, now my oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. go nice and even okay pretty now I'm gonna put another set of gloves on because I'm gonna play with the next one all right um, baking time For this is 30 minutes. I'm gonna make sure on my. All right. So I have, I still have the remaining sugar. I'm gonna unroll this. <clears throat> I just banged my counter. All right, everything good? Awesome. You have any questions? I mean, this is really, really easy to do. Okay, I'm trying to line up the end because once it hits the cheese, it's kind of not as easy to spread it out. So I'm gonna try, let's see here. I'm gonna try to apply it already stretched out. So just kind of try to stretch it out. The beginning part's always the hardest because you know your hands are busy. But there we go. There we go. Nice and pretty. Make sure everything is covered. I'm making churro cheesecake right now. Once this is in the oven, I'm gonna bust out my stovetop thing here and we're gonna make the beignets, okay? So hopefully the, that will last until this is done. Honestly, I don't think so. So I'm doing two. Puff pastry, when I use puff pastry, it's just flaky. It's like, um, it's a cheesecake miloja. Does that make sense? Okay, so then I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of the sugar mixture, sugar and cinnamon mixture, on top, okay? There we go, done. Time. Okay, this is what we put in the oven, and it is done. Okay. Minions? I'm sorry, minions? Or minutes? Maybe minutes? 30 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay. So, I'm going to put this guy in the oven. Set my timer. 30 minutes. Okay, so I'll have my little timer right here. When it beans, we're done. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my stove top. Now we're gonna talk about beignets.
Have you guys ever heard of beignets? Beignets, 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 beignets. They are If you if you look at beignets, um these are um pastries from New Orleans, okay? Uh, recently I have, you know, New Orleans in the area where, um, uh, in Disneyland, they sell them. Where is my, I want to, I, I'm, I'm not a good beignet speller, so I wanted to make sure I give it to you guys spelled correctly. Okay. B like boy, E like elephant, I like Indian, G. N E T beignet. Okay, so um, Oren, you're home. You don't know. You might be getting a box of treats today. All right. So because we're using this, my electric stove top, I'm supposed to do this in a frying pan. Okay, but I don't have a frying pan that's compatible with my stove top. So I'm using my little bowl. Okay. With this is just oil. Oil's in here, and I have vegetable oil in here. Um, <clears throat> for this, you guys are going to either love me or hate me, okay? Um, I'm terribly sorry. And I'll be honest with you, my son and I went to like five different stores looking for um, this one ingredient. What happened? Oh, duh. One ingredient. Why isn't it working? I'm going to be very angry if it doesn't work. I might have to do it over here. This is for this. <laughs> okay, so now it's, I guess it's working now. All right. So what we do need is a plate. Just get a plate and put some napkins. Okay, two ingredients. I'm sorry, two ingredients. That's right. I just read Orange comment. Okay, and I want to put some napkins on here, and um, this is because of the oil. Okay, uh, just because of the oil. Um, all right. So, what I have here in my bowl is I have a little. Uh, a little little pincher bowl of have you just regular flour this is so that I can roll out my dough and then powdered sugar okay and if you know beignets beignets will shower you in powdered sugar so powdered sugar I'm just gonna dump in here just to have oh! and you're not supposed to eat beignets wearing black clothes or without a bib because you will shower yourself mm with um with powdered sugar okay so we need this but I'm gonna set it aside okay while the oil gets hot we want it to be about um, 350 degrees or so okay so don't want to touch that in addition my area is not that big. All right. We need a rolling pin. This is where I use um, my my little thing because of the oil. Okay. And then a little um, scoop, a spoon with holes so that the oil drips out of, and then I, I place it here, you know, so once it's coming out, the rolling pin. We need a pizza cutter. 
if you're going to do squares, a pizza cutter. And then um, this is the pastry one that has like the ridges. You can use that also. Or you can use um, cookie cutter. And then I'm going to do Darth Vader to show you guys. I can see it. Darth Vader. This is Darth Vader. It, it could also be a bell, but it's supposed to be Darth Vader. And that's all we need. The one ingredient that you might have difficulty finding. Like this is going to be so hard. Let's move. I need to move areas. I need to move stuff around. And, oh, you can keep the cutter. You guys ready? Who's ready? Give me some thumbs up if you guys are ready for this one ingredient that you guys are just going to be like, really? Just one. I'll put my gloves on before I start. Just one ingredient. You guys are going to be like, really? Okay. Um, maybe I should take my watch off. Okay. Um. <laughs> I swear, you guys are gonna be like, really? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. It's in the fridge. It's a tin. And it's nothing that we use for churro cheesecake. Pizza crust. Billsberry pizza crust. Now here's my question. My question is, when we go to these places and order beignets, are we literally eating deep fried pizza crust? Or is there a recipe that really is, thank you, really, exactly. Or is there really another, a, a beignet recipe? That's just my question. Open this guy up. We'll get it started. Okay. Yeah, this is where we need the flour. Malia, you're gonna be my guinea pig. <laughs> you're gonna be my guinea pig. Yes. Okay. So um, next time you're gonna be my guinea pig to try these beignets. All right. This is my daughter, Malia. <clears throat> Be careful with the oil, okay? Here it is. All we're going to do Can you make it louder? It's really low. We're going to roll it out so that <clears throat> It's a nice thickness. Now, when I was in New Orleans um, last year for the Brown Sugar Cake Retreat Show, Auntie Phyllis, is that Phyllis? Um, hmm? uh, the girls and I, which is Mary, Cindy, um, Alex from Poppy Paint, and so on, we went to the mall because it was raining, and then there was like a little beignet um, shop in there, like, I can't even remember the name. Hi. So we were looking, um, and the guy literally was just cutting the dough and just flipping it over, cutting the dough, flipping it over, and it was landing into the deep fryer. I actually have a video that I should post that video, huh? Did I post that video? Okay. So I was tripping out. Okay. So now with the pizza cutter, we can just cut squares, which is the the given the given um, shape of beignets. Oh. Okay. Ma yeah. I can't deep fry this with gloves because if I get oil on my hands, I'm going to melt the glove onto my hand. Give me the Nutella. I think it's in here. Okay. We can also fill these. Okay. And make them like Pun, pun check, pun, pun, pun check, pun check, pun check, pun check, pun check. I can't say it. It's um, some kind of. Oh, bless my baby, my friend, pimple popper. Yeah. <laughs> she's in the house. Um, she's my friend, and I love her. 
Dr. Oren says hi, Malia. Hello. All right. So we can fill these also. Okay. I want to check if the oil is ready. So I'm going to just cut a little piece. It wasn't in there. It's not ready yet. It's just about ready. I, I will move it here once um, the oil is ready. Did you hear this ingredient, Rachel? Um, you're going to trip out. So you can do these for your kids and your hubby. Should we do the giveaway? Should we do it like last time? Okay. I actually been wanting to do this. She's requesting to join the live. I'm going to accept her. Oh crap. What I do? Add. I'm waiting. Oh, she denied me. Okay, I think the um, I think it's ready. I could also check the temperature to make sure. change it to Fahrenheit. The thing is that when I do a lot of my baking, I use um, Celsius a lot. Um, so my thermometer is set to Celsius. Now I got to change it to Fahrenheit and I don't know how. But yeah, it's ready. Okay, so you guys ready to see some beignets? Join my live, Rachel. Okay, it's ready. It's not in there now. Uh, and it's not in the pantry? Uh huh. So when you deep fry these, you should only do one or two depending on the size of... Um, request me and I'll, I'll have Malia uh, join you. You don't want to... Oh crap. You don't want to fry more than um, two at a time depending on the size of your deep fryer or your fryer itself. What? Yeah. So I'm deep frying. And you flip it. Mina, um, Request 
Bless by baking. I don't know. How to so do that. you see the two faces? Uh huh. And then bless by baking. And then add. Let's see if she adds me. You're out of focus. I'm, I'm out sorry. of focus. That might have been my fault. Oh yeah, because you're. Pick my tears and that's not really all. Every time I hear this song, I think of that date one. Okay, ready? First beignet's coming out. What'd you say? Every time I hear this song, I think of that date one. You see it? Which one? Okay. I don't want oh. I don't want to drip oil on you. First beignet out the house. Okay, I'm gonna drop another one in. Hi, Rachel! Hey, babe. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Are you baking? No, not right now. Girl, go get some pizza dough, make yourself some beignets. <laughs> I know, I didn't know that I just happened to be on and then you were live and I was like, oh my gosh, what is she cooking? <laughs> so I made churro cheesecake, it's in the oven, and right now I'm making beignets. Oh, you did? That's amazing. Lord. That is one of mine and Daniel's favorite desserts, the beignet. Really? Yeah. Um, can you do that with puff pastry? I have a question. Can I do this with puff pastry? Um, have I ever deep fried puff pastry? I can't remember if I've ever deep fried puff pastry. Do you make puff pastry, Rachel? Mina, can you lower the radio? I do. I have not made puff pastry. Girl, we need to get together and make some puff pastries pastry. together. That would be awesome. Well, you're like in Redlands, aren't you? No, we're no. You you're in Redlands, right? Yeah, I'm in Redlands. You're far. I'm in the hood. But we can do it like a joint line. Yes. Yeah, and I'll get. Just tell me the ingredients, and then. Well, I can ship it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Are you able to find yeast? Girl, no, I have not, but my friend that lives in Utah mailed me yeast. Yeah. Oh. So I was able to do get it, and I haven't used it yet. Do you use the active or the like quick active? Give me the yeast that's on my on my in, over there. The one that I'm gonna show you the one she mailed me. Um, but you know what? Um, my husband the other day was in um, Aldi. And Where? he found yeast. Where? The yeast is on my... Hold on, let me take this out because I don't want it to burn. But these are beignets. Let me... And then, um, but he was able to find... Let me show you. So, he was able to find me yeast, but I also had another friend who mailed me some from Aldi. So, oh, I gotta check out my Aldi. We have one right down the street. And then also this, and this is the one that my friend mailed me. It's oh, wrong one. Yeah, that's the one that everyone is like sold out of. Yeah. So I have that's Portia. So so fun. Yeah, Portia, I'm doing this because of you. Beignets. It's so easy. I wish you lived next door to me so I could mail them to yourself. <laughs> Just go over and give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so happy, Rachel. I want, don't, don't, don't. Um, I know, it's because, um, you know what we're doing? We're also with this stu stupid quarantine is we're painting our house. So my daughter painted her bedroom. Uh, we're going to start painting what? the living room. So we have all kinds of stuff like in boxes and just like making a huge mess in the living room. Oh okay, now with this something you I wanted to do for a long time. What? Like to repaint the house and now you're yes. like, okay, I have the time to do it. We have nothing else to do. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you have know, orders? You know what? Um, my The company I do the corporate events for, they had to cancel all of their events for their season. So like right now I would be like knee deep in Taco Tuesdays and just doing like taco themed treats but they had to switch over. It's really interesting because they're events, so they're trying to figure out ways to do events for their uh, tenants, but like through Instagram. So they had like a comedian on the other day. Um, it's really cool, it's just different. Everyone's like adjusting to a way different type of life. 
Yeah. All my cake orders were um, postponed. Thank God it was their yeah. first phone. Uh, here and yeah. there I get a couple cake orders, but to be honest with you, I'm not like, um, I'm not taking a lot of orders because it's really difficult for me to find the ingredients. Yes, yeah, no, definitely it is. And then too, I just, I always feel like right now it's so much, it's almost safer for yourself as a business owner, you know, to like take, take a step back, you know, and like use the time. Yeah. Kind of to like strategize, you know, business wise. So um, during this, I am deep cleaning the house. Like I'm taking a lot of my cake yeah. stuff out, figuring out what I need, don't need, um, painting the living room. Like I'm doing a lot of little things here and there. So you know, but and you know the thing is, the, the difference between me and you is you have little kids. Yeah. So you have to do that schooling stuff. Yes, and I know with a lot of, um, like, my nieces and nephews, they're kind of logging in, and they get credit for logging in to whatever websites their teachers have to go to. But, no, my kids literally have to, like, take pictures of each assignment every day in all six of their subjects and, like, send them in. So it, it's, like, a lot. I feel like there's not even a way to kind of, like, cut corners on it. Yeah. But it's gotten easier. Um, we just had spring break last week, so that was really nice to have a break for them. Right. But it's the days fly by. Like, I can't believe a month has already passed because we've been so busy just kind of trying to juggle schoolwork. Yeah, so my daughter is in college, so I don't, you know, that's on her if she does her homework, and that's not my problem. Um, yeah. <laughs> and my son's a senior in high school, so, you know, he knows. He knows what he's, I don't need to be on them. So I I do more of me things, you know, my house, my things. You, I know you have to be actually parenting and teaching. So that's you know one benefit I have <laughs> yeah you you've done your time you've done your parenting time yes. and now you're like I'm looking at you like no Pepsi is gold she's like that's what I aspire to be <laughs> that's so but funny. I did want to ask you okay so you said you're cleaning out your baking stuff so I'm trying to clean out like my baking you know pantry and everything as well how do you know when you just have to get rid of it like as far as like molds or tools or whatever that you've just been hanging on to because it's really hard because you feel like you invested in it but is it really just taking up real estate um so throughout the years i you know going to cake shows and so on and getting a lot of swag bags i got a lot of duplicate yeah. stuff so the duplicate yeah. stuff i'm either giving to uh some friends of mine that are, are be, uh, beginning bakers you know what have you um but the other stuff, idea. like my, my, I started baking in 1998. So I have those old, old ass pans that are in shapes of like Elmo and crap like that. So those I'm pin, putting them <laughs> in, um, you know, the Tupperware boxes and I'm putting them up in the attic. Oh, okay. But, That's good. Hi, That's Mary. Case, right. Um, so I don't have a garage. I only have an attic and my attic, I swear by the looks of it, it's going to cave in one of these days because there's so much cake crap up there. Um, so, yeah. But if it comes down to it, maybe we should do like a giveaway, like a, <laughs> a used crap giveaway. <laughs> yes. I actually have these, and like you said, they were from, um, I think they were from a couple uh, shows, and they're these really nice cake boards that have the little feet on them. Uh -huh. And they're maybe like a 10 inch, and I'm like, well, that's a good, I don't think I would, I'm ever going to use it, but that is good. Like, that would be good to add in. We should do that. Clean out, it's like a pantry giveaway. Yeah. I mean, hey, it, it's like, Hi, um, it's like they say, if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we shower these guys with, with sugar. Malia, come be a guinea pig. Um, you know what, with this stupid, I mean, with this quarantine, um, I gained a lot of weight. Uh, I've been on my ass a lot. So, you know, I, before I was hitting the gym quite often, now... I know, you were out there, I seen you pumping so, iron at the gym, like, almost every day. And yeah, I was doing my best to try to, like, to make 2020, you know, Barbie status, but Barbie, you know, went quarantine, <laughs> so court Barbie's yeah. getting bigger. <laughs> okay, Ian. Yeah. So, Malia's had these in um, Disneyland. Disneyland. 
Okay, try to get one of the, the colder ones because I don't want you to burn yourself. Um, but go ahead, be the guinea pig. So, um, yeah, so Jeanette Brown 4, yeah, this quarantine. Not it's hot. To you. What is, does it taste like the beignet? Yeah. yeah, it tastes just like them. Um, That's I, amazing. Those are just Mickey. Oh, yeah, they're Mickey shaped. Um, I, you can fill these, like I was saying earlier, you can fill them and then close them up and then drop them in. I can, my daughter, my mom probably finished my Nutella, so I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I, can, I was going to ask you, do you have a preferred so dipping sauce like for the beignet? Do I have what? A preferred dipping sauce for the beignet? You know, um, I go to TJ a lot. So, we have a lot. We have a lot of the cajeta from TJ. <laughs> oh! I don't you personally like this. Can fill it. I don't personally like this, but my daughter does. She loves, I don't like cajeta, I like chocolate. So, but did you, were you on here at the beginning? I want to show you this. No. I think I'm going to mail you one. Look at this. I know because you'll probably use it. A little tiny heel of chocolate mold. Oh, that is so cute. That's perfect for like the top of the cake. Yes, and it's the magnetic kind, so I'm trying to... This is chocolate. That is so cool. So, yeah. Dude, that looks like a perfect Cinderella slipper. Right? That's what my daughter said. Mary, make yeah, you some... I've seen the other ones that look like a stripper heel. Uh, yeah. I have that one. Yeah, but that was perfect. That's a perfect shape. Perfect size. Mary, um, I said I said that this, I thought of you because we when we were in uh, New Orleans, remember in the mall, the guy who was just grabbing the beignets and was flipping them into the oil? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and Mary's out by you. Yeah, yeah, she's not too far. She's like 20 minutes maybe from me. Rancho Cucamonga or in Riverside. So, but you can cut these to shape. So if you have an order, you know, you can cut them. I'll, I'll, let's, let's cut one. And this. Okay, and you made this dough from scratch, correct? No, girl, this? You're going to get mad at me. <gasps> Pizza crust. That's what you were saying when you were cutting them. <laughs> Either you love me or you hate me because... It's no, easy I as, as anything, but it's really hard to find the, this dough. Like, I'm telling you, I went to, like, yeah. three or four stores yesterday. And well, that's why I was asking if you had yeast. Because I was like, do I need yeast to make these? Not for this. <laughs> nope. That just, is so awesome. So, yeah. So, I need to bring this back so I don't throw it in my little island. But... That's it. That's the beignets. And then I have the choco flan in the oven. We have, honestly, just two more minutes. Um, for the choco flan. Okay. You, ha, have you made choco flan? I have not made choco flan. Girl, you need to get on it. Okay. And uh, I'm not, sorry, not choco flan. What a ding dong. Uh, churro cheesecake. No, okay. And that's what I thought this was. I thought this was your life for churro cheesecake. When I tuned in, and then I seen the beignets, and I was even more happy. I <laughs> so I did beignets. both. Yeah. This was my surprise recipe or my surprise demo because I didn't want to say it. You know why? Because I've been thinking of doing this demo for quite a while. And if I, you know, if you say something like, hey, I'm going to do a demo on this, then everybody and their other mothers will beat yeah. you to it. <laughs> so, so this is a little shaped one that I cut. Um... It's tiny. I don't want to touch it because I'll burn myself. But they do fluff up quite quite big. Let me look at this guy. He's like a big. That is it? so awesome. It's like a titty. Um. So how's your husband? He's doing good. He's still working. Oh wow. So he's, he's essential. <laughs> oh yeah. But um, he's he's doing good. Uh, they have. I mean, he works for a steel company. So oh. I mean, they're always. Yeah, they're all working. How about your hubby? He's working. Um, you know, he's a popo, -po, so he needs to work. Yeah. <laughs> um, my, it, it rains, so out it comes. 
Here's a churro cheesecake. Oh, that looks so yum. So ideally, you want this to rest for a good three hours. Okay, let it really? cool. And then cut it in slices. The thing is that the filling is hot. So you need the filling to completely cool. Making these beignets. And, and that then. is with the croissant. With the crescent rolls, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. The, today was like a Pillsbury kind of demo. Yeah. Mary, come over. Selling gold. Uh, so everything today was, I used a lot of tasty products and a lot of Pillsbury products. I feel like this is so perfect for like all the families who are quarantining at home because it's easy enough to do with the kids and it's quick and it's something that you normally wouldn't make or even think of making but because we have the time, you're able to do it. Yes. My, my kids have me cooking every damn day now. <laughs> and the thing with my kids... It's is so my daughter is 21 you know she's 21 and then she has her boyfriend okay and then my son he's in senior high school and then he has his girlfriend so when they come over like i have a party of 10 here yeah louis said he's on his way there so. you go the boyfriend's on his way over <laughs> and and it's like they come in they're like mom what's for dinner he literally asks he that. asks me every day what's for dinner oh no save share and start again Say, it just says share the story. Share the story. And then start over. <laughs> no, not there. Okay, go. No, that's just going to show you. Go oh, back. Go to the camera. Kidding. No. Go back. Arrow no. back. Arrow I, back. I don't know how to Instagram. Go down to the house. Camera. Live. Oh. Just a little tiny bit. Oh. No, you don't need it. Leave it. Leave it. It's good. Sorry, it ended. Do I have a question? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Let me finish this. My life, I didn't know it was about to end. Usually it says it up there, but because I was talking with Rachel, it didn't show me, or maybe it did and I didn't see it. I'm so sorry. Um, Rachel, I love you. We need to get together and do it. I'll drive out there. I don't care. I need a life. Um, okay. I'm just gonna finish these and then just do, um, I'm just gonna finish this. Finish it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rachel, I love you. Um, you know, I have a friend, and I also wanted to say, I totally forgot, I have a friend that I grew up with, and if you know my story, I grew up in the hood um, near Inglewood. Um, and uh, she has recently started her own little baking business also, and she's doing cheesecakes. So I was like, well, hey, let me interview you on in Instagram. So you guys, so she can, you know, uh, like uh, people that follow me can get to know you also. Um, I don't, I do cheesecakes, but I do the big, big ones, and, um, she does personal and big, so I'm, I would love to have her on, so when I do, I'll, I'll post it, okay, I'm done with my first roll, and I'm not gonna do the next roll, because, um, I, like I said earlier, um, my ass is just getting bigger, and I need to stop. I need to stop stuffing the bad habit. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Any questions? Um, thank you, thank you so much for those who tuned in. Um, if you need any, any answers, any questions answered, please feel free to message me. Um, I do respond to my messages. Although I've been noticing that a lot of my messages... Um, I use vegetable oil, Oren, uh, so I don't think it would matter. <laughs> Malia, you need to go to, um, to to Mary's house and take her a box of the beignets. <laughs> Mary's like, what's up? Why, why aren't you at my door yet? <laughs> um, 
look at this, this little one. Maybe I could try this one, but it's really hot right now. It just came out. The, the, um, I don't even know what I was saying. So I use vegetable oil. I don't think it really matters. I, I, you know what? Usually vegetable oil is the, the given, red, um, given for home bakers, but. Okay, now who's calling me? Right now, let's decline her. I'll call her in a bit. Maybe we should request to see if she wants to join the live. Um, Natasha, um, but let's see what else. If you guys are interested in the heel, please send me a message. I can work on getting them since you know I have big kids. And um, if you're interested, please help me get to 5,000 followers so that I can finally get rid of this damn. Uh, box, the mixing bowls, along with the other stuff. I, um, you know, Ronnie's Creations is going to be in that giveaway. Uh, Julie's Creations, she uh, she does the balloon arches, and uh, we're going to get maybe a couple other people that are going to join the giveaway. So get help me get to five thousand followers and uh, the giveaways. And again, uh, today's. Oh my gosh, she really needs to talk to me. She's gonna, Malia, can you call Natasha and tell her I'm online? I don't have her number. Oh crap. Um, so if you guys are interested in the spoon and also this little set of three, which is um, ice cubes, pizza cutter, and um, measuring spoon. Okay? Uh, I think the boyfriend just arrived. Um, I'll do this giveaway. I'll post it later. I feel like I'm in a rush. Boyfriend? <laughs> Luis? Maybe not. Okay. Um, my next demo is going to be in a couple days. I have my list right here. Um, I'm, uh, these are my options. Biscuit, lemon cake, chocolate chip cookies, yeast roll, tres leches cake, or New York cheesecake. Eras tú o era Luis? Eras vos o Luis? Oh, dile que venga. Malia! Ya viene mi hijo. Ya viene mi hijo? Okay. So, those are my options. Um, okay, I can't. Come. Come. The boyfriend's here. Come taste. My second son. My, my other son? My other dependent that doesn't provide social security number. <laughs> Here. Eat. No, but you gotta get in view. They can't see you. Yeah. Can you read what Mary says, Mona? Mary said, I love this idea. Maybe we can do something like that <gasps> at the meetup. Everyone bring baking items. They have no use for any more than people can grab and take what they need. Yes! I have a shit ton. Wait. What do you think? That's called a beignet. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a beignet? Have you ever had a beignet? No. You ever had the one at Disneyland? No. The Mickey no. one? No. No. Oh my god. Can you go up to me? No. I know. So, that's it. Super easy. If you guys make these out. Biscuits. Okay. Uh, butter, I was thinking buttermilk biscuits. Um, uh, if you guys do this at home, please tag me. Like, so I can repost it because um, if I do these and nobody does them, then what's the purpose of me doing these? So, like, um, if you don't, did you text the top? No, you didn't. I don't have my name. If you don't know this guy, he's the one that actually helped us with the TV show. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's going to help us do the next one that we're going to do. <laughs> okay, so we had, let me move my mess. Come, try. Erin, you're not even in view. Come try. I have to show you a meme. Come. Oh my god. I'll give you the little one because um This is my hairy quarantine hair son. That's a beignet. <laughs> you need to be in the view so they can see what you're doing. <laughs> Oh my god, my black dog is now white. It's a lot of powder. It's powder sure, yeah. Girl, you, I'm a, a boy. 
it, they give you like a bunch and then it just, you like it? See? <laughs> what a douche. Um, I am posting them and I'm also recording and I'm going to put them on my YouTube so they're on for um, more than they should be. Yes, uh, these I don't think they could. They... Malia, you want me? I have puff pastry. You want me to deep fry it and see how it comes out? Malia. Get me a puff pastry sheet, please. I know, Grandma. Okay. I'm gonna do for a puff pastry sheet, uh, puff pastry, so so we can um do this together. I mean, move this. Just is there any way you can just cut a piece, Ian? Yeah. What you want more? And then I also make sure our cheesecake. Malia loves this. Oh, really? You, said you can't cut a bigger piece? This I is what she brings me. Broke it. This is what she brings me. And then you go to it. <laughs> She's being moody. What did you do to her? I do nothing. Okay. The one thing I've noticed with the puff pastry, it goes straight down. Unlike the, the, the pizza dough, it, it stays lifted. Um, it is starting to rise as it's getting um, fried, I want to say. Okay, it's up. now it's floating. I know you guys can't see it. Um, I have a lot. I'm just looking for ways to use it. Oh, I can give you a bunch of ways to use it. You can do the churro cheesecake with the puff pastry. It actually comes out really, really good also. I've done that before. Okay, so, um... I don't think you get the same texture deep frying this. I'm just about done. I'm just going to finish this. It's more like, um, like an empanada. What do you think? It, you know what? Let's, I mean, let's put some meat in this guy and deep fry it and make it an empanada. Mm. That'd be so good. You know empanadas, Louis? Mm hmm I like empanadas. From where? Um, this place in Vermont. Oh. You should go to My boss took me. He was, um, Oh, you've been saying that. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> He's like set. Can you turn off my oven? I'm done. All right. Um, it's taking longer than the dough to to, to to cook or to fry. Right now. Um. What? You cut your hair or you shave? You shave. All right. So here it is. Let me take it out. It looks like, um, what are those, those fritters, like a fritter? They're full of air. Oop, drip, drip. Like a wonton. <laughs> I'm dropping oil. I am dropping oil. Okay. Ooh, now I got a lot of cleaning to do. So that's it. Any questions? If not, just message me. Um, and we're good. Uh-oh. Somebody wants to talk to me. Natasha. Bye. Bye. That was Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, that was actually a funny line.